A newborn is always a welcome guest in the world, for both human beings and animals, although giving birth is not an easy process. The birth process is dangerous for both mother and baby, and sometimes leads to loss of life. That doesn't mean that animals shy away from giving birth though. Some animal species actually embrace some of the scariest and craziest birth processes ever. So today, I'm going to tell you about weirdest and craziest ways animals give birth. 1. Giraffes Giraffes give birth standing up. Female giraffes are pregnant for 14 to 15 months. When they go into labor, they stand up to push the calf out. When the baby giraffe emerges, it drops to the ground. This fall can be about 6 feet, and it helps the giraffe's umbilical cord break. At birth, baby giraffes weigh in at about 100 to 150 pounds and are 6 feet tall. For giraffes, the process of reproduction starts, when a male giraffe drinks a female's urine to determine whether or not she is in heat. 2. Male Seahorses Male seahorses give birth. The seahorse is a member of the Cygnathidae family of fish, which has over 300 species. Unlike land horses, seahorse males don't just deliver the sperm, they also carry the pregnancy and give birth. The process starts with an interesting romantic dance that ends with the female depositing eggs into the male's brood to be fertilized. Sometimes the eggs are attached to the male's tail instead. The female doesn't take the eggs back though, she continues with her life while the male's belly starts swelling as the babies grow inside his pouch. When the time comes to give birth, the male has contractions just like human beings which force the young horses out into the water. The male may give birth to up to 2,000 seas horses at once then get ready to carry another bunch of eggs from the females almost immediately. They are not the best parents though since once the babies are released, they are left to fend for themselves. After about 20 days, the male gives birth to more than 1,000 tiny seahorses. 4. Octopus Octopuses are one of the most interesting marine creatures and to them, reproducing is also a death sentence. For the males, all they have to do is deposit the sperms into the female's mantle either by dethatching their extra arm into the female altogether or by only depositing the sperm pockets. In some cases, the female will eat the male after mating, and if she doesn't, the male will die a few months later. The female stores the sperms until she is ready to lay eggs, then watches over them until they hatch, before she herself dies. In both cases, both parents die. 3. Suriname Toads Suriname Toads give birth out of their backs. Suriname Toads enter the world, out of holes on their mom's back. Like the seahorses, the Suriname Toads release eggs in large numbers for the males to fertilize but after fertilization, the male doesn't take the responsibility. First, the female toad lays her eggs. Then the male toad fertilizes the eggs and places all of the eggs on the female's back. Skin grows over the eggs, protecting them until they hatch. After about seven days, the baby toads squirm out of holes in the protective skin. The eggs then sink into the poor mother's back, and grow into her turning her back into something like a honeycomb. The mothers have to carry the little toads on their backs, until they are ready to fend for themselves. When the babies are weaned, they crawl off the mother's back into the water, and the mother sheds off the old skin in preparation for the next birth. 5. Spotted Hyenas Spotted hyenas have a painful and risky birthing process. Female hyenas have three times more testosterone than males, which results in a peculiar and risky labor process. Female hyenas give birth through their clitoris, also called a pseudopenis. The birth canal of a hyena is only about one inch across, and consequently, many hyena babies do not survive. Suffocation is a frequent occurrence for the cubs, as is the death of first-time hyena mothers. 6. Snails Ever imagined a mother giving birth through the face? Well, that is exactly how snails lay their eggs. Most have both male and female reproductive organs within their bodies, so, they fertilize their egg internally. Some still choose to have intercourse in which case, the mate will have to shoot, something called a love dart to open skin so they can deliver sperms. A love dart's as dangerous as it may end up damaging the snail's internal organs, so, it is safer to just self-fertilize your eggs. Then comes the egg-laying process, which happens through a pore on the face, so they can literally watch as they give birth. 7. Yellowhead Jawfish Yellowhead jawfish are one of the best parents on the planet, as they protect their young ones even after they hatch. Like seahorses, male jawfish do the hard job, which in this case, involves carrying the eggs he just fertilized in his mouth until they hatch. During the incubation, 
the male doesn't eat anything, a process that continues for nearly a month. After hatching, the fingerlings are released into the water, but they stay close to the dad and can always swim back into his mouth if danger approaches. 8. Porcupines Porcupines are very famous for their spikes. The problem is, they are born with them and they have to go through the birth canal, which can be a nightmare for the mother. The relief is that the porcupine spikes don't harden until after they are exposed to the air, but that doesn't make it easy on the moms. Sometimes, the little ones come out with their hind legs, instead of their heads leaving spikes embedded in the mother's birth canal, which can be fatal. 9. Tasmanian Devils Tasmanian devils are actually great mothers, because they carry their babies in their pouches, until they are weaned. Being great mothers doesn't mean, that their babies have an easy time though. The mother gives birth to up to 50 young ones after 20 to 30 days of pregnancy, then the babies have to crawl from the birth canal, through the mother's fur, to the pouch under her belly. In the pouch, there are only four nipples, meaning the earliest ones to arrive and find a nipple, survive. Many don't and the mother really can't do anything about it. 10. Kiwi Birds Kiwis are born ready to run, but, the egg is usually so big, that it could kill the mother before it is laid. Kiwi mums don't have to feed their chicks for the first few days after they hatch, because the egg carries enough yolk to feed the chicks for days. The kiwi egg yolk content is higher than that of any bird in the world and, kiwi mums carry the largest egg in proportion to their weight than anything that gives birth. The egg could grow up to one-third of the bird's weight stretching her belly so much, that it touches the ground. Before they hatch, the egg takes up so much space in the mum's tummy, that there is no space left for food, so they have to fast for days or even weeks. The chicks are more developed than those of other birds when they hatch. So, what do you think about these weird ways of breeding these animals? Really weird, right? Some animals may even die as a result of producing offspring. So, you realize that the animal world is full of dangerous and weird things, don't you? Then, don't forget to comment below.